Hello everybody and welcome to a video on the Basic Machinery Remake. Yeah, so iEmotionless updated Basic Machinery. You can get it on the Vantage's website. I'll put a link in the description down there for you. But it has a bunch of, uh, bunch of new stuff now. Let's I'll scroll down there and we'll take a look at it. Um, it reminds me a lot of the the old IC2 uh, on Java edition. Uh, now it's got some of the same old stuff that it had before. We've got silicon factory, um, you know, plastic refinery, uh, the crusher. We've got that, uh, but there's some new stuff here too, and uh, like the these. Uh, let's see, where was it? Yeah, this water filter here. I think we that's part of the uh, the new nuclear power kind of thing that's going on in this uh, the reactor. Yeah, so you've got reactor components now where you can build a reactor. I haven't messed with that yet, but I will definitely. I'm definitely going to look at that and see how that works. Try to figure out how that works. Uh, there isn't any. I haven't seen any tutorials on anything yet. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just kind of messing around with this stuff. Graphene factory, I'm assuming, is probably used for the reactor controllers, uh, reactor casing, the controller, and the ports. Uh, so yeah, lots of different stuff. The updated graphics look really, really good. Now notice this, this is from the old IC2 uh, Java mod, and we have uh, basically like nano armor and stuff. Yeah, I, I remember messing with that and we've got the nano sword and the modular sword and evidently see we've got these modules here so i'm assuming that these modules go into the suits and there's a uh see there's a where is it uh, i was looking at it earlier there's an upgrade table that you can make yeah chemistry mixer i think that's part of the nuclear nuclear thing as well Anyway, I can't find it right now, but there's a there's a, a block in here that uh, says upgrades, and you can do the upgrades. And I'm assuming that's the upgrades for the um, for the suit, and maybe the sword as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Evidently, if you're in a you know normal world, you got uranium ore that you're going to have have to do. Insulated tank. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't looked at that yet. Yeah, I mean, it's he's completely redone it, and it looks really nice, really good. So, yeah, I can't find that upgrade thing. But we got the geothermal, which is my one of my favorites there. But who knows? This nuclear reactor may be the way to go in the future on this thing. It's pretty crazy. Like I said, I haven't really messed with it. But what I wanted to talk about today was something that I really, really was intrigued by. And this is the wireless. Uh, let me go back over here the wireless power transfer that he's implemented, which is really, really a, a nice, super nice feature in, in uh, this guy right here, wireless module. Uh, now it's just one. So the I, I played around with this and it's not hard to figure out. I kind of figured out how to do it. As you can see, I've got the advanced solar panel here going into this guy. Now this guy has a name, it's called Solar. Now, if we go over here, now you notice the top of this one, right? It's just straight up. But if you see this, it's got the little receiver thing on there. And this is named solar as well. Now, see the connection here is solid? And the connection here is kind of pointing into it. So that kind of gives you the clue on how, how this works. So let me, I'll show you how to set this up. And it's really simple. And this is going to be a quick video because I, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share this. I'm, I'm still messing around with this stuff. So, yeah, I'm trying to get back into the into the swing. of What you do is you put two down like so. Now, if you just right click it, if you just right click it, it'll give you the the name and you input your name. So name of the network. So we're going to call this one solar. OK, but notice they're both on on transmit. That's what the little thing here is and you can see that the the connection is pointing into it in order to get this to receive you want to 
you want to crouch and right click. Okay, and that puts it into receive mode. Notice that it's getting solid, but there's nothing happening yet uh, because we need to name it. And you can tell before I name it, see this is pink and this is yellow. So this has power and this doesn't. So what we can do is we're just gonna name it, name it the same, like so. Boom, now we've got power. And you can see now our quantum, I've got a quantum miner set up with a, uh, with a uh, furnace. And uh, yeah, it's just going in here. And this thing is producing like a ton of uranium cells, this quantum miner, which obviously go go into the um, go into the nuclear reactor yeah I'm gonna mess around with that nuclear reactor and I'll, if I can figure out how it works and whatnot I'll do a, I'll do a video on it but we get a lot of them so yeah it doesn't look like you I don't think you necessarily I'm assuming the, these cells are what you put into the reactor and they're probably made from uh, you know from that uranium ore that you get but yeah, this wireless this wireless uh, uh, power is super nice because now what you can do is you can have a little area over here, uh, set up your nuclear reactor and stuff away from everything else, hook up your wireless, and then you know you can have your different production lines with with your wireless transmitter and receiver set up, and you don't have to do all these wires all over the place or cables all over the place, which is really really nice. So yeah, there we go. So just a quick little video. I just kind of wanted to, I'm, I'm still kind of just messing around with this, but I figured out how these work. So I thought, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a little video on this. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the power output on, on these is. I, you know, I don't know how many, what you get as far as power per tick and, and whatnot, but there's a basic solar panel and then there's the advanced on it. So obviously the advanced would be better, but it's working fine for here. You can see the power is almost constant now instead of doing it like, like before. So yeah. So anyways, wireless power, basic machinery remake. Yeah. Pretty, I'm pretty excited about this. I want to kind of get into back into this mod mess with it. So I really enjoy it. It's, it's really my favorite, uh, production mod on bedrock editions uh i've messed with some of the other ones not really not really a big fan of some of them uh but i do like this one basic machinery it's always it's always been very good very reliable it's always worked never had any really ish, real issues with it so yeah good solid uh good solid add-on for a bedrock edition well so there you have it wireless power very simple to set up too yeah so I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.